Welcome to the Fierce Fish First Tech Challenge programming tutorial series. This is the very first tutorial in our tutorial series, so we're excited to get this going for everyone who may find use with it. And in today's video, we're going to get set up with the FTC control system to get basically get you started with programming. And as I will say in the beginning of every one of our tutorial videos, our goal is to provide a simple and straightforward guidance in programming an FTC robot. So there are three platforms you can program on for an FTC robot. Blocks, Onbot Java, and Android Studio. And we're not going to focus on Blocks too much in this tutorial series because we want to focus more on the Java-based pieces so there are teams out there that have much success with blocks and they like it very much, but we are going to focus with the OnBot and Android Studio. And I'm going to, as a little disclaimer before words, I'm going to do a lot of my work in Android Studio, but it does work with OnBot Java for the most part. So everything I do, unless I specify otherwise, can be done in OnBot as well. So we're going to start with OnBot and getting that set up. So assuming you have your phones set up or Control Hub, whatever you use, now that the Control Hub is legal, you're going to go either on the robot controller or the driver station to the um, three dots in the top right corner of the app, and then you're going to go to Program and Manage. And once you're there, you'll see that you have a Wi-Fi network, a passphrase, and a IP address. So on your computer device, you're going to go to your Wi-Fi settings and connect to your Wi-Fi network. And you're going to use the passphrase that they give you. Now this is going to connect. I like to get out of it and come back because that makes it faster. It will say no internet. Do not worry about that. Everything is fine. There's no internet for a reason. And then you're just going to go into a standard web browser. I have Google Chrome. I like Google Chrome. Then you're going to type in the IP address into Google Chrome or your web browser, I'm sorry. And I'm pretty sure this is the standard IP address for everyone, I'm pretty sure. So and then you'll enter that in and hit enter. Okay, and then this is the screen that'll pop up. If you see the server is okay, everything's good. Everything's good to go. Then you can start programming. So then you're going to go to Onbot Java. That's how, that's how you access Onbot Java. And this is the Onbot Java interface. So let's get used to the interface right now. So let's start here. This is settings. I've personally never touched anything in the settings. You may want to like adjust the font or whatever. That's up to you. I've never actually touched anything in there. There's an undo button. It's very helpful. This right here is how you create a new file. You type your file name here, and then specify autonomous teleop, etc. And then if you happen to have the Java file saved on your computer or a flash drive for whatever reason, you can upload it with the Upload Files button. This here is just a little readme message. You can take a look at that on your own time if you would like to. It doesn't really tell you anything that this tutorial doesn't tell you. And then there's bottom right corner right here, very important, build everything. Once you press that button, it's built to your smartphones and you can use it on your robot. It, if it works, it'll say build successful. If not, it'll say build failed and it'll give you a vague description of why it failed. And then you'll have to figure out why it failed and change that in your code. Okay, I don't have it. This is where your code will appear right here. I don't have any code to appear right now because I deleted it, or actually no, I moved it to a different location so that I can do this fresh tutorial series for you guys. So, and that's everything with Onbot Java, so let's get started with Android Studio now. This, we're going to first download Android Studio, so you got to go to your actual Wi-Fi network, connect to that, and then it'll tell you the robot controller is disconnected. If you see an error like that, then that means it's either with your most likely your Wi-Fi or maybe you turned the, your robot controller turned off for whatever reason so we're now just gonna search in Google for Android if I can spell studio 
and then you're going to click on the one that says download Android Studio and SDK tools and then this is going to come up and you'll hit the download button usually it already specifies to the system you're on I'm on Windows 64 a Windows that can handle 64 bit and before downloading I would make sure you check the device specifications and make sure whatever device you're using meets the specifications if it does not meet the specifications then weird things will happen it could crash your device it could like just say max out storage and then your device won't work as anymore as did happen to one of our devices we learned a lot with the we went through quite a few different devices trying to download android studio this year with our team honestly and I'm not going to press the download button because I already have Android Studio. So then I, you'll just run through the download process and the install process, just like any other third party app you're downloading to a computer. And then the next thing we got to do is go get the. Um, well, actually, I'll show you this first. This, once you get my Android Studio is loading right now, but once you get to this point, right here let's get rid of that as you get to this point right here then you're good to stop we would have to import a project that would be the FTC SDK but we do not have the FTC SDK yet so we're gonna go get it and I just search in Google FTC SDK and then make sure you click the current seasons one because if you do not click the current this past season was Skystone so if you do not click the current season one, you'll have outdated stuff and you want to have the most dated things you can. So if you're if you have Git or a GitHub user, you can clone it. But for the purposes of this video, I'm assuming a lot of you don't have Git. So I'm going to download the zip file. That's gonna take a little bit. Shouldn't take too much longer. It's a compressed file, so then we'll have to extract it as well. We're almost there, I'm confident. All right, it's done. So we're going to show in folder. I'm going to go in here and extract it. I'm just going to extract it to my desktop and this may take a little bit. It's going surprisingly faster than I thought. Oh, there it is. We do have a pretty fast laptop here at the Fierce Fish. We're very thankful for our generous sponsors and donors where we can acquire this money from all right and there we go now that it's extracted you can x out all that let's x out of um here let's open our android studio all right and you're going to have to import a project we're going to go to where that project is saved i saved mine on the desktop it's called skystone master i hit ok now everything is going to open up now. Okay, they give you a tip of the day. And you can choose to like not show tips. I like to have the tips because the more you know. And then to view your build, just go down here to where it says build. See right now it's configuring. Just wait for it to configure. Wait for everything to finish. And then update all the things it wants you to update. Make sure that you do that and then once everything is finished configuring let's explore the um all right now everything's finished configuring so let's explore the interface you won't need to be dealing with here too much or here unless hopefully in this tutorial series we will get into importing things such as OpenCV, maybe even roadrunner hopefully but right now, you won't need Gradle scripts or the robot controller. What you'll need is team code. And if you go to Java, 
if you right click on this new java class that is how you create an op mode and then there's just a little readme here and in the future i'll make all this bigger so that you can see what's actually going on but i think for now that's going to be it for this video so today we learned how to get everything set up with android studio we set up all of our onbot our phones are hopefully already set up before this and yeah from all of us here on fierce fish ftc 17014 we hope you have a great day